Hey everyone, today I'm going to be feeding my own blood to my Venus flytrap. You've probably heard of the movie Little Shop of Horrors. In that show, the Venus flytrap gets a taste for human blood and then it wants to eat people after that. So I wanted to test this out myself and see what happens if I give my Venus flytrap a taste for human blood. I've had a lot of fun with Venus flytraps in the past. My latest Venus flytrap I've kept alive for a long time. It kind of fills in between a pet and a plant. It's kind of like a pet because I have to remember if I haven't fed it in a while and I have to feed it some flies. And it's also like a plant because it lives in water and it stays there. In the past, I tried to see what would happen if a Venus flytrap bit my finger for a long time. And it kind of did something, it made my finger a little bit red on the end. It could have just been because it was moist and kept all day on the end of my finger. And then more recently, I fed my Venus flytrap a jelly bean. What's really cool is after I fed it the jelly bean, the plant really perked up after that. It became more lively, a lot more leaves came out of it, and since then it's been doing really well and is still alive and thriving today. But I wanted to take a little darker turn. I wanted to give it a taste of human blood and see how it likes it. In order to get a drop of my blood, I'm going to be using these lancets. And I want to remind you that this was done sterilely with a medical professional with sterilized equipment. Don't try this at home. Please, YouTube, don't demonetize me. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. Oh, it's eating me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See if it likes it. Okay, you can see the blood at the bottom there. Now I just need to stimulate it a little more so it actually closes and doesn't think it didn't get anything inside of it. What I do now is I stimulate it so it thinks that it actually caught something. If you don't keep stimulating the hairs afterwards, then it will think that it was a mistake that there's something in there. Maybe it caught a twig or something and not an actual bug. And so it will open back up. But I'm going to do this so it actually stimulates it to stay closed. There you go, my pretty. Enjoy. Okay, so the leaf has completely sealed now, so that's good. It means it's actually digesting it in there. So it's been 24 hours now. I'll shine a flashlight behind it and you can see the blood in there. I actually don't see the blood in there as well as I did yesterday. Maybe it dropped the side there. But anyways, it's still sealed and looking good and it's probably digesting it now. It's been four days now. Let's go check out how the Venus flytrap is doing after eating human blood. Let's hope after this it doesn't develop a thirst for blood. All right, we're on day number four here. And it looks like there's no more blood inside of it. It may have drained a little bit to the corners, but you don't see the smear of blood like we did before. And overall, the plant is doing really well. These are the older leaves that have eaten before. They usually die off after they eat around two times. But since it's eaten the blood, it's really perked up. It seemed to like it. You can see that overall, this whole plant is looking really good right now. Wait, is it moving? Now humans are hard to make this video. Thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my shorts channel, don't forget to subscribe yet. It's where I make less than one minute videos of my favorite videos from this channel and I make them digestible in one minute clips. I'll put a link to my shorts channel in the description and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.